Great morning. I haven't pulled a card for the last few days for a spiritual life message. So let's grab some cards here and we'll pull one and just see what the topic is today. What is the topic? It is radical honesty. To believe in the facade is to suffocate in the armor of alienation, self-defeat, and self-denial. Okay. Well, if one is going to progress in their life, they need to be radically honest about what's taking place or what's not. They need to confront their issues, okay, rather than um, rather than sweeping them under the table or deflecting or you know, projecting or whatever thing that somebody uses to insulate themselves and their ego from looking at things deeper. Okay, you can't change something if you're unwilling to see it, <clears throat> you know, or if you see it um, and you go on the attack rather than looking at the issues that are there and coming to find out um, what's there, what's not, if it's real, if it's not, etc. Okay. So this is part, a big part of the path is self-reflection, okay? One goes into a witness state, begins to see their actions, begins to question them at a deep level, dismantle it, dismantle the illusions of truth. What do I call them? Illusions, why it's illusions, illusions, okay? The things that keep you bound, the things that keep you in suffering, okay? First, again, one has to be willing to see them and look at it deeply and go to the where it began and dismantle it, okay? Because usually what people are holding on to are things that were uh, told to them when they were children by, you know, um, or somebody um, just projecting their own nonsense and then we gravitate to it, hang on to it. We put it in our, uh, you know, we don't want to believe it, but if they're saying this, then maybe it's true and you adopt it as an illusion of truth. And it just uh, causes one to suffer for, for many years. It could be for lifetimes, okay? So again, this is something that come up, you watch, see how a thought creates an emotion, how that emotion affects the body, which then creates another thought. And you just get this round robin of drama taking place, okay? But there is a way out, you know. The way out is to be willing to sit, to look at it, find out where it began, back yourself back out of it, continue to go back and go back and go back and question it. And you'll see nine out of 10, it's somebody else's drama that they have not completed, they have not worked on themselves, that they are projecting <clears throat> onto you as you're failing when it in fact is their own failed things that they are not and have not dealt with, okay? So once you see that, that it's somebody else's failed drama that has been put on you, then you can look at it and say, it's not mine. I don't need to carry this any longer, okay? And you can disfuse from it, okay? But you need to really come to the point of seeing that 
it is an illusion that's been perpetrated on you which you adopted as truth no matter how painful it is but since you adopted it you can dismantle it okay so much love and light thanks for tuning in and i'll see you on line